called NutriFit. Welcome to my video of how to do a back squat. Before we start, I do have other videos on YouTube which you can watch, so please feel free to add any comments or ask any questions on the thread at the bottom of, of this video. So with the back squat, there's a bit of a misconception that, uh, that it just works the legs, it doesn't, it's a full body exercise. So obviously you are working your quadricep muscles up here, your hamstrings, your gluteal muscles, which are your bum piriformis, but also your core is engaged. So stomach, rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis, rectus spinae, and lower back. And then even further up, to hold a good posture on the squat, you need to be retracted through the shoulder girdle, you need your shoulders basically pulled back strong, filling up the lungs with oxygen, and uh, your lats are very, very much engaged in that motion. If you can't feel it through your back, you're probably not pulling hard enough on the bar. <clears throat> so the benefits behind it, it, it builds up incredible strength. It's great for calorie burning as well, because you're hitting lots of muscles. The more muscles you work in one go, the more calories you're burning, you increase the metabolic rate. You're gonna get great toning benefits. If you load the bar up and you do higher, higher weights with lower reps, i.e. eight to 12 reps, lots of sets of that, you're gonna build up quite a bit of um, muscle as well, so it can be quite substantial there. You can do endurance training with the back squats, so lots of reps for, for general fitness and mobility, and just keeping the body strong, and then you go into power, which is gonna be sort of four to six reps. What's also uh, really important with this is it, it can actually lead on to further exercises, uh, not directly, but once you've mastered the back squat, you can then start looking at deadlifts and cleaning jerks, catching the bar, but that'll be in another video. So I'm going to talk a bit less now and actually demonstrate for a couple of angles. As you approach the bar, I'll show you from the back first. You want to put the bar across the back of the shoulders, not on the neck. Hands shoulder width apart. Standing up. Okay. Draw back from the bar, feet shoulder width apart, just squat down, drive it up, try and keep the shoulders back, chest out. So <clears throat> it's very, very important to keep that chest out, elbows pulled back, try and get the bum nice and low to the ground. If you, the lower you go, the more you're actually bringing the glute muscle, so you stimulate more muscle growth there. I know that the old bubble butt's in fashion at the moment. Hands shoulder width apart. I'm showing you from the front now. So you can point your toes out at 10 to 2, just as long as the knee follows the line of the toes. So you don't want to put your, your toes out and then push your knees forward because that will put stress through the inside of your knee. So basically, toes out slightly if you wish, knees in line with the toes. Chest out, squat down, and drive up. Keeping the chest out, push forward. Drive up through the thighs, one more. And there. A few clicks there, so I'm not completely warmed up yet. But there you go, back squat, big for posture, helps you engage your core, get some back working, legs, bum, even the calves are engaged. Real, real strength exercise, very functional. You need to be able to support your body through your legs. You're doing a lot of walking about in a day, hopefully, running around, picking things up. It all comes from these glutes here, the bum muscles and the legs. Vitally important exercise. I would recommend you get a decent or trainer you trust to come and look at you before you do it, maybe instruct you, check. Feel free to send me your videos and I can, I can have a look at that and tell you if you're doing it correctly. I wouldn't just jump in with a massively heavy bar, doing it how you, you know, just doing it how you think. Make sure you know you're doing it right, start right, progressively get heavier. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. As I said, please feel free to put any comments. I also have lots of other videos on the YouTube channel, so yeah, watch and see what you think. Thank you very much.